You know what's really funny? We keep on asking for AE style graphics in Premiere Pro like this one, even though this one's actually in development, but we still want something like this, except it's it's built in. It's right there. <clears throat> actually, you're going to be able to see it once I make a keyframe. So here's a very simple scale out from 250 to 180 for my clip. I already told you it's right there. These are the graphs that After Effects use, but for some reason, it's cramped all together. So what you need to do is just extend it. So if I just click this and drag it down to make it bigger, you can see I've I've got this diagonal line now all we need to do is just highlight all my keyframes so i've got two here right click and click on bezier and now you can completely scrap the old method that we used to use for graphing now i'm going to improve this so let's say i want a stronger scale out i think they do something like this after effects users correct me if i'm wrong but i believe you pull the first handle down like that to create a slope and then this one to the left maybe something like that that looks pretty decent i think so the result turned out looking like this not too bad at all if you want more impact i guess we could pull this a bit more to the left however just like old graphing we need to keep it on level so it can't be down here otherwise it's going to look like this and zoom out a bit too much so keep it at that leveled and smooth and also what i'm going to do is maybe pull this handle you can't really see it so maybe i could zoom in a bit that doesn't really help so i can move this one frame ahead there you go i could move it down maybe a bit not too much you do not want the curve falling beneath any of the handles otherwise it's going to do that thing again keep it smooth like that if i want to extend it i can always push it back and make some adjustments because there are still some issues you can see the black parts around the edges are very clearly visible so i could pull pull this up just a bit perfect it looks very smooth now let's try something else i'm going to base this on memory i've seen graphs that look something like that i think i think what this does is it starts off slow and then it accelerates and then it slows down again maybe that only applies to twixter i don't know but we'll see so i'm just tightening up the keyframes like so and wow i was actually right so it starts off fairly slow and then it gets quicker and then it slows down again and if you do tighten it up you can see it a bit better so if i just pull that to the right a bit more to the left and then play it back you can also see what it would look like if we used the original graph below but the method is entirely different in fact i think it makes less sense i always used to say that the height is the peak but that does not really apply to this kind of graphing anymore does it work for settings like position now i don't think it does but we can try so if i just get rid of these keyframe position open up the graph and let's just say i move it to the left shift it just there and it seems like there are no graphs besides the original so that kind of sucks however it does appear for settings like rotate for example I'm using warp transform by the way just like before i can extend this by clicking over here i don't really know how to describe it it's, it's a line just underneath the uh the, the let's call it a uh the new graph this one is just it's horrible let's not talk about it so just pull this down as much as you want to so just here i think is fine highlight them right click on any of them and then bezier this one is a bit more difficult i don't really know how i'm gonna graph this i want it to rotate from three to zero a bit quicker for the most impact now if we were to graph this using the original graph i would simply pull this to the left and then this one as well just like that done how easy was that now let's do it with the new graph what would i do i think i would pull this handle up maybe nope that's not no completely messed up for even stop moving hello it's the next day and i'm re-recording this end part because i missed out on something very crucial i remade the rotation so it's got six at the start zero at the end and what i can do is i can extend this just like so highlight right click and bezier on your left there are two values there's one at the top and one at the bottom so what we can do is decrease the one at the top down to like 25 for now or something like that it doesn't really matter but this one as well so just increase it the closer the values are to zero the better the graph will look so i'm going to decrease this a bit more maybe something like six and if i can increase the bottom value that would be great let's keep going and okay yeah negative three is fine because negative two completely breaks my graph so negative three is fine and now i can finally graph this properly because before it was a struggle so what i can do is i can pull this down slightly and also pull this one to the left creating a slope once again i'm also going to pull my second keyframe a bit closer to the end then I'm going to fix this up because you can see it's falling below the handle on the right side. So let's just push that up a bit. And there you go. I've got a very impactful rotation effect. Usually it would look like this. So if I just reset everything to linear 
and graph it as I usually would. This is how I would do it. So just pull this handle all the way to the left and this one slightly up. It looks great, but it could look better. And because of this graph, I am fairly limited on my options. When I try to improve it by tightening up my keyframe, it turns out looking very stiff like this. It's not very smooth, which is why it's best to use the After Effects graphing style. But yeah, that's a hidden secret that isn't actually a secret, but something that was hidden away from us. Thank you to my monthly Ko-Fi supporters and I'll see you all next time. So thank you for watching. Peace.